my friends, how are you? I miss y'all. Hope all you are doing well and staying safe and healthy. And had a great Halloween. Boy, it's been a while since I uploaded a cooking video. I'm ready to come back and share with y'all some more Southern recipes. And just in time for the holidays. Before we begin, I want to thank you. Recently, we have reached 2,700 subscribers. Woohoo! Thank you again for watching and tuning in. I'm very grateful. Happy Thanksgiving, my friends. I can't believe Thanksgiving is right around the corner. My favorite holiday. So today, I'm going to share with all of y'all a great dessert that will be perfect for your Thanksgiving dinner. We're going to make sweet potato cheesecake pie. Mm -mm. How yummy does that sound? It's so simple and easy to make. The bomb.com delicious, full of sweet potato goodness, and the best part, no oven required. It's going to be a no-bake dessert. Everybody will go crazy over this, and this would be a new favorite. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And also check out my Thanksgiving recipes playlist from cabbage and collard greens to baked macaroni and cheese to seafood cornbread dressing. And my previous video, hot water cornbread. I'll post a link to all of those down below in the description box. So grab your graham cracker crust, your cream cheese, and your sweet potato sugar because we're about to make some no-bake sweet potato cheesecake pie magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go! All right, my friends, in my medium bowl, I add in one eight ounce tub of cream cheese spread that let come to room temperature. And in two hour cream cheese spread, we're gonna add in a half a cup of white sugar. One teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And this is my homemade pumpkin pie spice. I'll post a link to that recipe down below in the description box and the fourth of a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. That's a capful. A fourth of a teaspoon of pure orange extract. Give it a great flavor. Orange go great with sweet potatoes. And now we're going to add in one cup of cooked sweet potatoes that mash. We're going to give this a quick stir until everything is well incorporated. All right, my friends, I'm through mixing up my sweet potato mixture. And this is what it looks like. Nice and smooth. Mmm. can smell the pumpkin pie spice and the orange extract. Smells like Thanksgiving. Alrighty, there's one more ingredient we got to add to it. We're going to add in two cups of whipped cream. And this is my homemade whipped cream. I'll post a link to that recipe down below in the description box. Or you can use whipped topping. And fold this in until it's well combined. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish folding in the whipped cream and I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I'm through mixing up my filling. Now we're ready to pour it into the crust. We're going to pour it in a nine inch graham cracker crust. And I'm going to cheat today by using a store bought graham cracker crust. But you may use a homemade graham cracker crust. And I'll put a recipe to that down below in the description box. So now I'm going to spread it evenly. Make it nice and pretty. Mmm, that looks so good. Alrighty, that looks great. So now we're going to pop this in the refrigerator and we're going to let it chill overnight until it's firm and set. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, my friends, it's the next day. Nice and firm. 
gorgeous. And there you have it, my friends. No baked sweet potato cheesecake pie. Don't it look delicious? Alrighty, my friends, I picked me up a plate and I garnish it with some whipped cream and the dusting of pumpkin pie spice. Now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Oh yeah, beautiful texture. Mm-mm, look at that. Have a bite. Mmm. Lord have mercy. It's creamy and it just melts in your mouth. I can taste the orange and the sweet potatoes. This is fabulous. Please give this recipe a try. This is Irvinella Bye. Yum o. Oh. Sweet potato cheesecake pie licious. My friends, I want to thank all y'all for watching and joining me in my southern kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video and this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. Also, hashtag Ellen's Homemade Delights on Facebook and Instagram or send me an email. Ellen's Homemade Delights at gmail.com. I would love to see your beautiful creations with my recipes. I'll see you next time. Let's eat. Much love. Stay safe. And happy Thanksgiving.